2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting fives for both teams. As we're just about ready to get this one started. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. Here's a look at some of the stats for Harrison Barnes. And his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better over his last 10 games. He looks so much more comfortable from beyond. There's no doubt he's got the green light to let it fly whenever the shot's there for him. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Kevin, thank you very much. We all know Anthony Edwards went first overall in 2020. And his teammate, Carl Anthony Towns, said, I know what all those pressures are like. When you're the number one pick, if any other rookies do well, there's a threat to the throne. But with Edwards' confidence in his talent, you get the sense he'll be just fine. Guys? Good point. No pressure, D.A. Thank you. Yeah, tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of talent, but also a lot of inexperience. And we'll see some spectacular plays, but also a few boneheaded ones as well. Always interesting to watch these young players develop. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Russell in the backcourt with Beasley to his side. Edwards is out there with Prince, and it's Reed in at the five, Roman the paint. And for the go. Kings, Barnes and Holds holding down the post position. Mitchell is out there with Fox, and it's Heartless in at the three. Now, here is Russell. Beasley, the pass to Prince. Outside, Russell. Pass to Prince. Russell kicks to Edwards. Five on the clock. They get the rebound. Prince's shot is good. Prince. Prince has got the first points of the night for the Timberwolves. This guy is such a hard-nosed, opportunistic player. You understand with Torian Prince, you will not outwork him. And Fox yeah. gets it to go. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now here's Prince. His last outing, he had 18 points. Reed. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Hole. First quarter, just over a minute played. The shot by Harkless, no good. Timberwolves have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Fox against Russell. On its way from Beasley for two, and it falls over the rim and in. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Now, here's Fox. Last time out, he had 13 points. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. He can't hit that time. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Kings. That one was played in Sacramento. Yeah, in this game, they'll want to approach things a little differently, I think. Got blown out last time due to being a little too aggressive on the defensive side. You know, there's a balance between that aggression and overdoing it. You can't reach in. These are things officials are looking to call. Now holds. After Anthony Edwards missed from long range. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game right now. At the line for your Kings, Rashawn Holmes taking two shots. That free throw, good from Holmes. Yeah. 
And so he makes both from the line. Here's Russell. Scoring wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's averaging about 19 points a game. Pass to Edwards. Bang shot. No good. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And you look at Harrison Barnes shooting. It's clear he's all about efficiency. Yeah, he wants to make the most out of every touch, and he's doing just that by shooting consistently. He's clearly put in the work to dial in his shot and limit wasted opportunities. Here is Edwards after the basket by Rashawn Holmes. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Barnes finds Fox. Here's Mitchell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Sacramento shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. He misses the free throw. And Greg People already predicting the MVP for this season. Is it too early to start talking about that? I mean, we have roughly half a season left to play. Yet people love to talk about sports, period. Especially when it comes to the most prestigious individual award out there. Good on the second free throw. Timberwolves trail by three. Let's it go with a three. Edwards with another miss. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. The rebound by Prince. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Beasley, the pass to Reed. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And it's the Kings with the ball, following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Edwards with it, now defended by Mitchell. Edwards kicks to Beasley. Reed with it. He had 27 points last game. Back to Beasley. Just five on the clock. Sinks the triple. Malik Beasley's Beasley. got his second bucket tonight. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Holmes. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. Here's Holmes. Sacramento moving it around. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Sacramento again missing. Minnesota in the lead. Prince the pass to Edwards. Deep two from Russell. And that one hits back iron. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Kings. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. And you know, they played a terrific all-around game the effort level was there as well as the production yeah definitely i mean it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end they were so efficient in almost every aspect edwards can't hit boy what a nightmare quarter for this guy he's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point here's mitchell reed with the block and they get it back again mitchell missing Minnesota's gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Russell feeling it out a bit. And it's Harrison Barnes with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Alex Lund's checked in for his shot hole. Minnesota also with the sub. Akogi's checked in for Edwards. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance.
Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Beasley against Mitchell. A Kogi for three. Reed. He hangs in there and crushes in on the second chance points. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Fox finds Barnes. Beasley against Mitchell. Trying to get open is Len. And that one's good, Mitchell. Mitchell's got six. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Outside, Russell. Six to shoot. Rejected by Lynn. Well, for a big guy so light on his feet, Lynn rising into the air with ease. Mitchell looking it over. Back to Fox. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Reeves got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Beasley. And they'll get another chance. Count it. He's got yes. six. Reed. He is now three for four to start this game. Clearly, the confidence is already building. Fox kicks to Mitchell. At the top of the key, Harkless. Barnes passes to Mitchell. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Russell dishes to Beasley. To the paint and stolen by Barnes. And the shot is good. And the Kings lead by three. Now, this is about the development of Harrison Barnes's body. You know, physically, he's tougher, which usually makes you mentally tougher. And what you admire is that he enjoys putting in the work. Now, here's Reed. He has six. Beats it. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Naz Reed. Kings have gone six of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Here's Fox. Dishes it to Land. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. That's just nice play calling, right? And you like how quickly Lynn gets ready to catch off the wall. So the Timberwolves call their first time out. You know, great thinking about De'Aaron Fox and what's next for him. We know how much he wants to get to the playoffs and contain. Yeah, I mean, Fox doesn't just want to have impressive regular seasons. This guy, his goal is to get his squad to the postseason. And not only that, he wants a chance to win titles. Some changes here for the Kings. Thompson, he's checked in for Lamb. Marvin Bagley comes in for Barnes. And it's Gary Harris in for Harkless. Sacramento on defense. Three-point lead. Here's Balmar. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. Wow. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Leandro Palmaro taking two shots.
First one falls for him. Good on both. The Kings leading. And here is Fox. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Mitchell outside. Drills it from outside. Mitchell's got 11 points. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Pass to Prince. Here's Beverly, guarded by Fox. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Another miss by Minnesota. Sacramento leading by four. Mitchell outside. The pass to Bagley. Lock at six. From deep. That's good for Mitchell on the assist by Bagley. 14 points for Davion Mitchell. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Beverly against Bagley. To the middle. It's stolen by Bagley. Right side, Fox. Over Beverly. Tipped away. Timberwolves trail by seven. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Here's Beaumont. Pass to Prince. And the layup is good. A tremendous effort. Tremendous body control. Prince showing how to counter good defense. What a nice move. Fox passes to Begley. Mitchell outside. From the arc. Minnesota with the rebound. 54 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Vanderbilt misses. Kings leading now by five. Baseline Jay on the way. The shot by Mitchell, no good. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Now, here's Beverly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Balmoral. Nailed from three-point land. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. 15 seconds left in the first. Now Fox. Clock at four. And here's Mitchell from the arc. That one no good. Davion Mitchell is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Sacramento. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. We've got more in store for you right after this. Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far, uh, guys, what do you think? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Washington. They'll face the Wizards. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. We've got Patrick Beverly. And it's Balmaro in at the two. And Minnesota has possession. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Kicks it to Beverly. Prince in the corner. Five to shoot. Over Fox. Shot is good off the back rim and in. 
Prince has got it all tied up now for Minnesota. Here's Sacramento. Mitchell outside. The pass to Bagley. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And he's just an attacking player. A guy who doesn't mind a little contact. Bagley there with a strong finish. Driving to the basket. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. No clue how he got that one to fall. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Nadu, he's checked in for the Kings. At the, line. the Timberwolves also with the sub. Edwards is checked in. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly, sometimes, you know, things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going? Kevin, you're always taught to control your emotions, but easier said than done. And in reality, sometimes you have to man up. You have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things. And at the same time, you got to be smart. So the goal is to beat the other team not literally. Here's Prince after the basket by De'Aaron Fox. Edwards inside. Guarded by Harris. Passes to Balmore. Shot clock at five. Beverly for three. And Jones pulls it down. The Kings have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. For Sacramento, they have shot 75% of the line tonight, going three for four. One shot. Timberwolves trail by four. Now here's Beverly. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And he's good on the three ball. Beverly. Beverly's got six points. Well, Patrick Beverly puts in the time to become a legit threat from range. Fox dishes to Jones. He kicks it to Harris. He takes it in. He can't get that one. Great tee that time from Edwards. Shoots the three. No good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. The Kings have shot 80% from the line tonight going four of five so far. And when you look at that free throw percentage on the season, they're, they're right around 73%. The first one falls. Sacramento making a switch here. Harkless has checked in. And Mitchell drops them both. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Timberwolves trail by three. Beasley outside. Pass to Beverly. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Now here's Reed. He's guarded closer. Here's Edwards. 
It's good from long range. Anthony Edwards. And that makes it a tie Four ball game. Three. And this is big for Edwards' his confidence, wanting to keep hitting from downtown and stretching that defense. Here's Medu. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Harris outside. Buries it down low. And the Kings lead by two. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. And they like what Harris gives them defensive good awareness and toughness. I mean, he stays in front of ball handlers. Sometimes he gets hedged in pick and roll by bigger players. But overall, very sound defensive player. Now here's Harkless. Edwards defending. Harkless with it. 14 points from him the last game against Minnesota. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Edwards passes to Vanderbilt. Edwards looking it over. It's hauled in by the Kings. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Harkless with the bucket. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Easily outside. Pass to Beverly. Back to Edwards. Beverly, the pass to Vanderbilt. Now Beasley, guarded by Harris. From 11 feet away, that shot off. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. It's hauled in by Beverly. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Edwards, Anthony that's good. Edwards. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout called by Sacramento. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. Yeah, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. All right, look who's coming out onto the court. Checked in for Damian Jones. Rashawn Holmes comes in for Metu. And it's Harrison Barnes in for Gary Harris. And a change for the Timberwolves. Russell's checked in. Now here's Harkless. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And stolen by Russell. Good. Nice job down low. And now, just a two-point Kings lead. Now, this guy becoming more of a two-way threat. It's all about D'Angelo Russell's activity level. Really nice sequence right there. Now, here's Barnes. He had 28 points in the win against Minnesota. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Here's Beasley. And there's the pass to Vanderbilt. Now, Reed... Second shot opportunity. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play Barnes. chance as he'll head to the line. That's his second and the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. 
You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box out. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. For Sacramento, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Passes it to Harkins. Barnes outside. The three. And the three ball is good. Barnes has got five now. That's called working the catch and shoot game to perfection. Barnes on balance and on point with his shot mechanics. Rejected by Len. Here's Harkless. Reed with the block. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Fox, he's checked in for Harkless. Akogi's checked in for the Timberwolves. On the wing, Barnes. Five points in the game. Fox, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Here's Reed. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. And it's the Kings with the ball. And here is Fox. Pass to Holmes. Mitchell outside. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Four-point game. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to Sacramento. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops. To quiet that crowd, it's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Sacramento making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Fox finds Mitchell. Barnes with it. To the inside. Here's Len. And he banks in the lane. Now it's a six-point Sacramento lead. Well, this is what you want to do on the screen and roll. Barnes on time and on point with that pass. Russell passes to Reed. And here's Russell. Back to Beasley. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Inside. To halt the run. Headshot off. Good D by Mitchell. Barnes with it. Beasley covering. Barnes can't get it to go. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Rejected by Len. Barnes up top. He's guarded by Russell. Barnes kicks to Fox. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Outside, Fox. Near the step back, and he gets it back. For three, Mitchell. And Tristan Thompson gets the whistle that time. Tristan Thompson. That's his first foul. That's his first person. Ivan Bagley's checked in for the King. The Timberwolves now also with the sub. The Prince is checked in for Vanderbilt. Timberwolves trail by six. Outside, Russell. Down low. Pass to Reed. He dishes it to Beasley. For Mitchell. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The struggles just continue this quarter. They can ill afford to have this many empty possessions. It's Fox with the drop. Yep, that one goes. And sometimes Fox just can't be contained. I mean, he plays with so much heart and passion and terrific at scoring even when he gets bodied up. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for the Kings. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. And something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. The free throw off from Fox. And how about the way Fox continues to improve his game? A capable score who also rebounds the ball well for his size. And still, though, he can improve on that perimeter jump shot. There's a minute 40 left here in the second. The pass to Balmore. Six on the shot clock. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. And Russell, a player known for his offense. But, Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while. But he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. Here's Fox. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Passes it to Russell. 106 left in the first half to end the cold streak. Off the left rim and out. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Russell against Fox. A drive by Russell. Happy to see that one go in for his second make in five attempts. You have the sense that D'Angelo Russell likes to play through contact. This is a tough-minded player. Now, here's Fox. Guarded close. Nobody near Barnes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Barnes has got the lead up to 11 now for the King. Here's Russell. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Kings in Sacramento to the paint and it's denied by Fox pass to Barnes fouled in the act of shooting gets the bucket anyway so a three point play chance for him that's just the perfect example of improved strength by Barnes able to finish plus one first trip to the free throw line for him tonight and what a season he's had at the foul line thus far 86% from the line Shooting one. Shooting one. A really solid free throw shooter. The team would like to see Barnes get to that line more often. Al Russell. There's the three. And so we wrap up the first half. The Kings on top. They lead by 14. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Harrison, a big first half for you offensively. How did you get loose? Uh, my teammates just been finding me. I've just been trying to just uh, run hard. You know, make good backdoor cuts, run in transition, and give me, me good looks. You have not stopped moving at all, and it's led to good results. Thanks, Harrison. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, Davion Mitchell has been exceptional here tonight, guys. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. 
boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Barnes and Holds holding down the post position. De'Aaron Fox out there with Mitch, and it's Harkless in at the small forward spot. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Here's Edwards. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Edwards got seven points. An agile move off the contact by Edwards, getting to his shot despite the difficult defense. Harkless, the pass to Barnes. Back to Harkless. And Fox has it in the corner. And it's Russell with the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Down by 12. Takes the three. That one doesn't go. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Here's Barnes. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Beasley. He has seven to the left wing. Edwards kicks to Beasley. The shot. A rebound by Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Knocked away and stolen by Russell. Step back shot. And Harkless pulls it down. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Good on the triple. Go with that deep stroke. I like Barnes' ability to switch between the three and four spots. Two distinct things in terms of spacing on the floor and the requirements of the jobs. Now, here is Russell. Kicks it to Beasley. Prince outside. And Davion Mitchell gets the whistle that time. That's his first personal. That's his first foul. First and now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Read the pass to Russell. The rejection by Holmes. Barnes dishes to Fox. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Barnes. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Outside, Edwards. Out to Russell. Beasley for three. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got his sixth rebound on the night. Outside, Fox. Back to Barnes. Shoots over Reed. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Here's Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Sacramento leading by 21. Barnes left side. Fox passes to Mitchell. Here's Barnes, has to Holmes. Just four to shoot. That one good for two. Six points for Rashawn Holmes. The assist. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And the Timberwolves call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster.
Sacramento making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Timberwolves. Patrick Beverly comes in for Russell. Now here's Edwards. He has seven. To stop the run, he takes it up and lays it in. Edwards got four points this quarter. He can't let Edwards get in the lane. Outstanding at using that burst of speed on the drive. And Doris, we know that Anthony Edwards has given numerous head-turning quotes, but that's just who he is. That's right. One of the most candid players in the league. Caught some media off guard when he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big-time personality. Now, here's Beverly after Mo Harkless's miss. Beverly with the ball. Six points for him. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Lens checked in for Rashawn Holmes. And it's Fox with the ball for Sacramento. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Feeds it to Land. It's Edwards on the wing. And that one drops. Edwards. Edwards got 11 points. And don't let Edwards' position fool you. Anthony is built like a linebacker. That upper body strength helps him down low. Now, here's Fox. Eight points for him. Over Beverly. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. He's got ten. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that thinking? Well, I I'm going to put on my fan hat right now, Kevin, and I thought it was exciting. I mean, seeing the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge, I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a berth. Fox, no good. Timberwolves trail by 21. There's the pass to Edwards. Now Beverly. Timberwolves passing it around. Got a piece of it. Fox with the steal. From 18 feet away, here's Len. Vanderbilt with the block. And he's able to get it back. Tries yet again. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, just terrific instincts right there from Alex Len on the offensive glass. Really impressive. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Sacramento. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And that one misses. See, the one thing you think about with Alex Len is he is a capable low post scorer. But in today's NBA, he's got to modernize his game. Can he add the three-point shot on a consistent basis? Big question. That'll be Minnesota. As it goes out of bounds, Timberwolves retain possession. McCogie's checked in for Edwards. Josh McCogie. From deep, Prince craps in the tray. Prince. Prince has got nine points. Well, just tremendous instincts from Prince. Feeling the defense, getting loose, getting into his catch-and-shoot game. Nicely done. Fox kicks to Harkless. The dish to Barnes. Outside, Fox. Inside, here's...
towards Lynn. Good and a nice assist from Fox. And it's eight points for Alex Lynn. What I'm already seeing out of Alex Lynn, more aggression than when he first entered the league. Passes to Beverly. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Patrick Beverly is the kind of competitor every team wants. Gets himself a trip to the free throw line. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And he knocks down the first one. What you have to love about Patrick Beverly is the long road to the NBA and his commitment to getting there. Think about this, guys. Three different European leagues before he signs with the Rockets. I don't know how you can't appreciate that kind of work ethic. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Len. Both shots good from the strike. And here is Fox. Ten points for him. Pass to Harkless. Now, here's Thompson. With his first shot attempt. Almost, but it rolls out. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Now, here's Beverly. Defended by Harkless. Pass to Okogi. Prince, right side. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. Kept alive. Tries again. Now the pass to Baltimore. Bagley against Prince. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Second chance effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. And with the late Vanderbilt has doors. He can be a hand very impactful. Yeah, he can. That wingspan on a power forward frame. He's got the opportunities now to let that work pay off. This guy is fearless on the floor. He's off on the first. Can't make the second free throw either. Listen, both. Kings leading now by 20. Fox feeling it out a bit. Rebound, Minnesota. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. That is game three of this four-game trip. Here's Vanderbilt, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Madhu, he's checked in for Sacramento. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Makes it off the glass. Fox has got 12 points in the game. And give Fox some love there. The, the D wasn't that bad, but he was just focused on finishing that one. Pass to Vanderbilt. Pass to Balmoro. Timberwolves passing it around. Pass to Vanderbilt. Just five to shoot. Beverly for three. And the ball to play. The Kings will inbound. Sacramento ball. Mitchell, he's checked in for Sacramento. Minnesota also with the sub. Reed's checked in. Sacramento leading by 19. 
Here's Mitchell. 21 points in the game. Shot from 12. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Mitchell's got 23 points. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Balmaro, the pass to Beverly, dishes it to Prince. And it's sent back by Mitchell. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Lock at six. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second personal foul. Team he's made all three of his free throws so far. And you know what? The work he's put in at the line is starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? good from Beverly. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Kings leading now by 19 Two points. Minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. The pass to Thompson. Here's Bagley. Mitchell outside. He kicks it to Fox. Sacramento needs to get off a shot. And that one's good. Mitchell. Yeah, instinctively, too. Fox there looking to be a ball mover, a facilitator. And that's one reason why his team is playing well. Now, here's Beverly. He's got 10. A minute 20 left in the third quarter. Reed with the block. And he recovers it. It's good. Fox has got 14. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Now, here's Beverly. Passes it to a Kogi. Here's Balmora, covered by Mitchell. Beverly, wide open, gets the three-pointer to fall. Beverly's got seven points for the quarter. Well, Patrick Beverly has found a rhythm, and the defense better start reacting to this guy. It's Fox with the drive. Can't cash in from close range. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. To a Kogi. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. Count it. Good. Beverly's got nine points now in just the second half. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Now, Fox. For Beverly, out a piece of it. And so it's the Sacramento King holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll return shortly. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot.
And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court for Minnesota. Nas Reed out there with Torian Prince. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then it's Russell. And it's Balmaro in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Beverly. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Well, just good solid use of the pick and roll. Patrick Beverly, ball in his hands, looking quite comfortable. Holmes kicks to Mitchell. Outside, Fox. Back to Mitchell. Holmes passes to Mitchell. The kick out to Fox. Over Reed. Cans the 12 footer. And how about the mid range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. Russell passes to Prince. Now here's Reed. Guarded by Holmes. Addition out to Russell. Plays it up and banks it in. So creative with the basketball in his hands. You can see D'Angelo Russell's understanding improving over time. That's nice. Now here's Bagley. Kicks to Mitchell. Sacramento moving it around. Pass to Medu. Now here's Mitchell. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. Remains Sacramento ball. Jones checked in for Sacramento. Harkless comes in for Marvin Bagley. Edwards has come in for Minnesota. Malik Beasley comes in for Patrick Beverly. For three, Mitchell. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. There's the pass to Russell. He dishes it to Beasley. Six to shoot. Outside, Edwards. Russell from long range. Wow, drew the contact in that three. Almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. He endorsed the last few years for Russell, but has seen a lot of turnover and change for that young man. And you know what? That can really slow down a player on the court more than you think. Last handful of years, Russell has changed teams and coaches several times, and yet he has still continued to be a factor on the floor. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic, he's confident, he can score it, and he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. And he's good on the second. the third here's Fox passes it to Harkins Russell against Fox Holmes with it Harkless on the wing Back to Holmes and stolen by Prince Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. From 11 feet away, and that's now good off the glass that time. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Fox against Russell. Now, here's Fox. He's covered closely. Pass to Holmes. He kicks to Mitchell. And the jumper is good. Mitchell's got 27 points. Timberwolves trail by 13. Russell passes to Beasley. Back to Russell. 
to the middle. Wants to get it to Edwards and does. A shake. Good, and that's Russell picking Anthony up the Edwards. assist. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Now, here's Mitchell. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Mitchell's got four points this quarter. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. Fox dishes to Mitchell. There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Sacramento making a switch here. Lens checked in. Six on the shot clock. And Fox gets it to go. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Outside Edwards. Back to Russell. Easily outside. Let's it go from deep. Sacramento grabs the miss. Holmes got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Mitchell. That one's not going to go. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Prince with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Lynn with the block. Harkless with it. Edwards there. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Prince kicks to Edwards. Beasley with a clean look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. A good look there, and he didn't waste it his second three of the game. Fox passes to Holmes. And here is Harkless. Outside, Fox to the inside. Holmes, good. And the Kings lead by 14. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Minnesota calls timeout. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch told the team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient when the offense. Make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now here's Beasley. He's done a dynamite job rebounding the basketball and no issues fighting it out against the big guys down low. Here's Holmes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got six assists now in the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Prince. 
Pass to Russell. Driving in. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Fox. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Bangs home the trifecta. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. To the middle. To end the run. Rejected by Lynn. Holmes passes to Harkins. Shoots over Reed. Reed with the block. Mitchell finds Fox. King's moving the ball around. Well, that's the energy and effort that D'Angelo Russell brings on the defensive end. This guy has got the ability to be a factor there. This is to Beasley. The pass to Edwards. With the drive. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting from. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. And Anthony Edwards, the top pick of 2020. Shooting not the most polished player early on, but his ceiling is through the roof. Free throw good, Edwards. So many top picks come in ready to play, Greg. Edwards, a part of a class that needed more time, though. Yeah, the talent is clearly there. And don't forget the pandemic cutting the college careers of many of the 2020 draftees short. Edwards, though, has all the tools to be an incredible wing player. And the Kings making a change here. Barnes has checked in. And talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things. The refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. Russell from long range. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Barnes has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Kicks to Mitchell. Passes to Harkins. Len with it. Pope loose. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Three. Well, with the length and athleticism, the intimidation First becoming a factor. Foul. Len aggressive in the painted area Chief draws the foul. Sacramento. Alex Len. Two shots. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. Here's Russell. There's the dish to Beasley. Pass to Edwards. And there's the drive. Lynn with the block. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. And stolen by Russell. Stolen by Mitchell. Barnes outside. The kick out to Fox. And good that time. Fox has got 12 points here in the second half. And, and no doubt Fox has a scorer's mentality. He is constantly in attack mode. Right here, right here, right now here's Reed. Guarded by Len. Let's a floater go. Russell, no good. Kings leading now by 21. Mitchell dishes to Fox. Again with the block. Making his presence felt on this end. He's holding down the fort. Anchoring the defense. Easily outside. Inside. 
Reed gets the bucket. Yes, you Reed. have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Two minutes remaining in Pass the game. To Two minutes. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Trying to get open is Ryan. Heartless with the bucket. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're down by 21. A minute 50 left to play here in the fourth. the New Balance player of the game, Davion Mitchell. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The lift he got from this home crowd has been obvious. There's nothing fans love more than getting a big game out of someone other than one of their stars. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Noel. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Unloads from nine, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team. At the line for the Timberwolves. Jalen Noel at the line. For two. Two shots. And the first one drops. De'Aaron Fox is checked in for Mitchell. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Listen, it's only one miss, but it hurts all the same as they try to cut into this lead. Passes it to Najee. Back to Fox. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Kings. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. And bragging rights between these teams were on the line today, and they put in some very good work to earn them. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for Davion Mitchell. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. Pass to Davis. Four on the clock. From outside the arc, good and a nice assist from Fox. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Now here's Knight. And it's Lehman in the corner. Let's the three fly. Hits it from three-point range. Lehman. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. 
Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Lehman kicks to Reed. Pass to Noel. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Sacramento ball. Now into the lineup for the Timberwolves, D'Angelo Russell. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Fox. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.